because RAM disks are fun, we'll attach a block device made up of a RAM disk to our virtual machine. To get started, we'll have to create the RAM disk. So we'll have to load the module, mod probe, brd, rd underscores nr equals one. This will limit the number of RAM disks to one. By default, it would create 16 RAM disks. Okay. And now the size RD underscore size equals, well, let's say 12 million. This is in kilobytes, 12 million. Okay. Hopefully I have enough zeros. Okay. Now that our RAM disk has been created, let's uh, let's find it on the computer. So ls, and it'll be under dev slash RAM zero. Okay, right there, our RAM disk. Okay, so to add it to a virtual machine, let's get started with virtual manager. Later, I will talk about QEMU. So let's open virtual manager. Okay, and let's go to the options or details and let's add the RAM disk. So, oh, it will be under dev slash RAM zero and then disk device and vert IO. Okay, so we'll finish it and we'll also have to install the driver. So we'll add CD-ROM and it should be on my machine. I saved it right here, vert IO, and I'll leave it in the video description, the link for that. Okay, and let's get the virtual machine started. Okay, so let's check our device manager. And here it is, SCSI controller. And we'll have to find the driver. So the driver is on the CD. Right here, we'll go to storage or VIO store and Windows 10. And install it. Okay, so now that that has been installed, let's go to the control panel. And uh, let's format it. Here it is, 12 gigs. Okay, so there it is, our RAM disk as a block device. Right here, there's nothing on it. Let's shut this one down and let's try the same thing with QEMU. Okay, so now let's try QEMU. We'll have to add the device so drive file equals dev slash ram zero and uh, we'll have to specify format equals raw if you don't do it it will work only as a read-only device and driver will be if equals vert io okay now let's save it and let's start it okay and since we have already formatted the drive we should be able to see it here 
and we should be able to benchmark it so let's see and I'll run the benchmark and I'll fast forward through it okay and the test is done and uh, it performed very well so the sequential writes are really nice sequential reads as well the rest of it it is what it is okay so now let's compare it to our QCOW based uh, RAM disk okay so the results are very similar the QCOW and TMPFS one seems to be slightly faster but they look very close in performance okay so let's shut down the virtual machine and uh, to get rid of the ram disks all you need to do is rm mod brd and now we go ls ls dev slash ram star there is nothing okay no such file or directory so we removed them perfect that's all for uh, block devices and ram disks for now and i'll see you in the next video